The Baltic Sea brought us into this world for the first time, and it bestowed upon us outlook and yearning, a yearning for adventure. The Baltic Sea has always united the East and the West. We built our societies based on what the sea brought to us. We have shipped knowledge, goods and skills abroad, and we have received the same and more than we hoped for in return. New sights, sounds and smells that have since become our own. But something has happened. The Baltic Sea needs our attention. Now it's our turn to give to the sea. Much has been neglected, and now is the time to make things right. We are already doing a lot, and there's more to come. We are prepared, and we will pay our dues. The Baltic Sea is more than 415,000 square kilometers. It surrounds nine countries, and at its deepest, it's 459 meters. The Baltic Sea's condition is very important for all the ecosystems of the world. But right now, up to a quarter of the sea is dead due to lack of oxygen, and all life below 80 meters is gone. My biggest fear for the Baltics is uh is uh, huge oil spills and uh, there's a lot of really a lot of traffic uh, going through the Baltics up, uh, up into the North Sea and uh, it's a big big tankers and there could be uh, severe damage if uh, if someone uh, some of these uh, had an accident that's uh, we need to work hard to avoid that the Baltic Sea is uh, in trouble uh, the environmental um, challenges in the Baltic Sea are huge. Uh, the efficiency project supports the development of uh, safety of navigation primarily and um, the protection of the environment. Uh, so we will make a, a small contribution to this large challenge. So we want to provide a tool for making uh, dynamic sensitivity maps. So that could be taken care of when, for instance, an oil spill uh, is happening because of uh, a collision, for example. Uh, then we want to, to know where are the most important ecological areas in, uh, in the region. The partners in Efficiency have mapped the Baltic Maritime Cluster and designed a set of programs to attract the best talents to the maritime educations. I can see that we have benefited as an organization uh, from working with Efficiency, definitely. Uh, it shows very, in a very concrete way that we are now working out strategies for how we should be branding our organization. We are working out strategies for employer branding as well, specifically. And we are going uh, to be a much more communicative and service-oriented organization. So uh, now what is to go, um... If there was a more common standard when it comes to maritime education, uh, interaction between maritime universities would be more easy. The business would benefit from a higher flexibility when it comes to education that would allow students to kind of make up their own uh, education profile and to become specialists. The most important goals for Work Package 6 is the human-oriented decision support. We are developing technology for decision support and especially for, for operative use. Uh, 
So we are developing a technology which can handle, for instance, information more fluently to support operators' normal work. The operators are sitting, for instance, in the VTS center, which means vessel traffic service. We want to make the technology help people's life. The programs we have developed in the project are completely common. They don't only apply to the Baltic Sea region, but they can be used anywhere in the world. Baltic Sea is more an example that we have used and looked at, but the technique can be used on other places. TC Gleisner, Crown of Scandinavia, are you going to follow the intended route over? Yeah, Crown of Scandinavia, TC Gleisner, that's correct. I'm going to follow my intended route towards Copenhagen. The most satisfying part of the VP6 work has been fitting the technology in, in practice. The integrator role uh, has been uh, quite big in efficiency and then one of the efficiency uh, biggest advantages have been the integrator role to merge together the academic and research organization and the end user requirements. That's something what is satisfying me. Baltic Sea region is so sensitive and we have so much traffic in the region. So it is very important that we have techniques to be able to overwork risk for grundstötning and risk for collisions. And with the techniques we have developed in efficiency, Så, så har vi tagit fram bra hjälpmedel för att kunna undvika de här riskerna. It's a demanding job to navigate a vessel. The navigator constantly receives a lot of information and not all is relevant for the task at hand. This overload of information increases the risk for grounding and collision. En av vision vi försöker göra mitt arbete nu är att samla de många informationer vi idag har fördelat på olika system och skärmar i en skärm. Och den skärm kan vi designa som jag önskar det, alltså som brukaren önskar det. Och på den måten vi mitt arbete blir lättare. Efficiency is capable of contributing heavily to the development of e-navigation. Uh, we are developing concepts uh, within the uh, project, which we offer to uh, not only Europe, but to the whole world. Uh, we are working very hard on feeding the results that we have obtained in the project to the global e-navigation community. In the efficiency project, we have uh, included the users by conducting a number of uh, analysis, number of surveys. Uh, we have also, particularly in the sound between uh, Denmark and Sweden, we have uh, reached out to a, a number of vessel owners or uh, ship owners, and uh, they have agreed to participate in our test bed. Uh, so we have, uh, say, some 10 vessels now participating in, uh, in our project giving us feedback on the solutions that we actually have uh, implemented. The added value for the ship owner is uh, increased safety of navigation, uh, thereby a uh, reduction of risk, uh, and therefore uh, perhaps uh, it could be translated to um, a reduction in uh, insurance fees. The other partners in our project have been very important uh, to us at the Danish Maritime Safety Administration. Through uh, these partners we have ha gained access to um, a number of uh, world leading experts actually in their field. And this has helped to um, ensure that the output of our project is uh, basically state of the art.
In efficiency, we aim to safeguard the future of the Baltic Sea. We want coming generations to have the same experiences from the sea as we have had. We want the Baltic Sea to keep on providing us with wealth, dreams and knowledge.